So before we arch the faces, let's do the fine tuning a bit. Offset up 50, 50, 50. So let's trim and trim it a bit and we can extend this to this, extend this to this and now trim this and this. So we'll cut this here and trim this here because this is the first thing we'll be seeing. So this ridge now is covering what is behind it so this one is also co covering what is behind it so that's why we have it that way so let's feel it to join them together what to feel it is zero so this and this So let's go to arch and pick our faces. So since we have done this now, the next thing is to draw our concrete fascia. So the concrete fascia we're we'll using here is in steps, not the normal arc surface concrete fissure so i'm just doing something simple so from this point i'm going down 100 mm this 150 mm this side 100 mm 150 mm Hundred and then and I'm giving it three hundred and then so if we measure this now from here to here from this point here to this point here we're having three hundred. So if you measure it from this point to this point, we're having 600, which is what we said would be the width of our concrete fascia. So the next thing you do is we copy this. Copy it to this point here. Because if we look, if we are looking at our roof, this side, this side here is what we'll be seeing at the back here. So this is what is in front of us now that we'll be seeing. So the next thing you do again is mirror this one so that we can copy it to the other side of the roof. So mirror it. Erase all subject you will know. Copy this and from here move to this point here now and to this point here and to this point here. So let me delete this. I don't need it again. So the next thing is, I'm going to join this line and this together.
and after that I'm going to change the thickness line width of this just to illustrate that this is the first part we'll be seeing so I won't be able to do that in the layer properties because if I do that it will affect the properties it will affect all, all, all other objects on that layer so I'm just going to come to this line width here and put it at the thickness of 0.3 and extend the rest of this So, I've come to the end of the roof plan and elevation. So, the next thing you do is this is the approach now. This is the approach. The next thing you do is to do the rest of the side, the side elevation, the right side, the left side, the rear elevation for the roof. What you do is copy this to one side. somewhere around there and use your rotate command now select all this and come to the middle here and bring out your cursor a bit and progress 90 degree so you have rotated this 90 degree to the left side this is the left side this is the right side this is the approach and this is the Rear. so we have rotated it 90 degree and the side we are the spacing us now is the left side the left side so the same principle we used to create all this is what you use to create the other side of the plan so when you are done with this again you rotate it 90 degree and when you do that you'll be faced with the rear side and when you are done with the rear you rotate it again 90 degree and you will be faced with the right hand side so when you are done with it you should be having something closer to this and you use the same principle the place that's closer must be given a line thickness to indicate that it is closer than the rest of the of the of the elevation so in the next video i would have done all the roof plan and the, I will have done all the roof elevation so you can compare your result to mine and we'll be going into doing the elevation of the whole building using the floor plan.